Now, I've said this again and again. Negotiations have been concluded. We've had no request to uh, negotiate uh, another type of agreement. The Swiss authorities have not uh, asked for that. There's been a request for clarification of certain points in the agreement which uh, has been negotiated. But just to uh, sketch out the background, there is a very important difference in nature between the agreement that we have concluded with the Swiss uh, on the one hand and the agreement with the UK on the other. When it comes to the agreement with the Swiss, uh, it's uh, about uh, enhancing this bilateral relationship between the EU and uh, Switzerland, and also the integration of, uh, of uh, Switzerland in uh, the single market, its access to the single market. On the other hand, when it comes to the agreement that we've signed with the United Kingdom, it's the other way round. The UK has uh, left the single market, and of course uh, that brings with it a whole raft of consequences. And we've just been talking about that in respect of uh, some aspects regarding the rules of origin. So these are two agreements which are moving in diametrically opposed directions. Now, of course, it's... Uh, up to the Swiss authorities to uh, carry out a, an analysis of the two agreements. But I think, uh, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the agreement signed with Switzerland, uh, we're talking about uh, having a more in-depth relationship between the EU and the Switzerland, and we're not moving away in the way the UK is moving away from the uh, uh, EU.